we have to sort of get over the idea that mental illness is a psychological and emotional problem and start with the premise that it's a brain problem, fix that, and then, yeah, you might have to deal with some psychological and emotional issues, but you can't do it in the reverse order. It's very hard. I always say, you know, it's, I can give you a lot of morphine if you have a broken ankle. It might help you walk a little bit, but it's not going to fix your ankle, right? So I think of it in four big circles that we all have a biology. So that's the hardware of your brain, the actual physical functioning of your brain. If you try to program that without fixing the hardware, it's not going to work. So there's the biological circle. There's a psychological circle. Mm -hmm. How you think yes. is really important. So I think of that as software. Yes. There's a social circle, which is who you hang out with. So in the computer analogy, think of that as network connections, right? You become like the people you hang out That's with. Right. And one of the things I, I may have gotten from you is if you want to get healthy, find the healthiest person you can stand right. and then spend That's as right. much time That's as right. him or her as possible. Right. And while your friends are, you know, eating McDonald's and having French fries and beer and watching TV all day, you're going to be probably overweight and unhealthy. If they're all drinking green juice and going to yoga class, they're probably going to be healthier. <laughs> And then there's the spiritual circle, which is why the heck do you care? Why are you on the planet? What's your sense of meaning and purpose? Both you and I work really hard because we're both very purposeful people and we believe yeah. we're here to do something important. And if you don't have meaning in your life, it's sort of hard to, if you don't know the why, it's hard to do the what. Yes. 